Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel My Life Next Door. Today I'm going to be making a very simple homemade play dough recipe for my daughter using common kitchen ingredients. Uh, it is very cheaper than store bought play dough and it takes less than 10 minutes to make. I made 6 batches in 30 minutes. These are some of the benefits of letting your child play with play doughs. Initially, my daughter Mitra didn't like it. I can tell that in her face. But then I played along and showed how to use it because that's the first time she's seen something like this. I didn't have to worry about her eating it because it's completely edible and once they know that it's not tasty, they won't put that in their mouth again. The first attempt was throwing those balls from the bowl and then again putting them back. It was cute to watch it play. Everyone likes different varieties of play-doh and there are tons of different kinds of play-doh recipes on the internet. What I am doing here is pretty basic without including tartar and this is the first time I am making a play-doh for her and I wanted to be basic to see if she really likes it and then try variations. So for this play-doh recipe, I am make, mixing 2 cups of maida or all-purpose flour. one and a half cup of salt yes it's cup not spoon because salt is what is going to make the play-doh last longer I'm going to make five colors by dividing the flour into half cups and then slowly add vegetable oil to the mixture to make the dough because oil keep the dough moist and soft without making it too crumbly Now I am adding yellow color food coloring to it. Just add 2 drops of food coloring to the mixture and the color deepens as you add oil and water to it. Add 1 teaspoon of oil in each dough bowl and slowly add lukewarm water to it to make the dough soft and moist. Consistency of the dough is the key here. If the kids find it even a little bit harder to press with their fingers, there are chances that they won't be interested to play or even touch them. Any toy that gives them instant impression is what boosts their curiosity to play. As you can see, I have made balls in each colors like green, blue, yellow, pink and black. I store them in containers or Ziploc bags like this in the fridge to last longer. If you find it little bit dry or hard, add drops of oil to moisten them. You can even add essential oils to give that fragrance which will attract them even more. If your kids find find this interesting and fun you can add more variety to your dough and as i said there are lots of recipes you can find online which you cannot even choose one it's okay if they get dirty and messy that's how children learn and have fun i hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it give it a big thumbs up and i will see you guys very soon in the next video till then take care bye